What's going on YouTube? Did you miss me? It's your guy, Mr. DCYLP, and I'm back. Guess what, y'all? I made it. I made it to 300 subscribers. All right. I'm actually proud about that. And um, you know what? All I have to say is I, I couldn't have did it without you guys. Like I said before, it might be smaller than you, but it's kind of major to me. And I'm going to tell you why. Because, you know, I was so caught up. You know, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to start this, I wanted to start this channel, excuse me. But I was just so caught up in myself, I ain't going to lie, in, a, in my own brand. And it was just, I wasn't, you know, dedicating the time and putting the energy into you know, building this thing up. Uh, you know, shout out to Stan Banks over at T-Shirt Side Hustles. You know, he had hit me, you know, earlier, um, back earlier this year. And he told me, uh, you know, I should, you know, take it more seriously. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm trying to do now. So, just to see the growth, you know, that I've made since we had that little conversation to now, it's, you know, it's kind of... It's kind of touching, man, you know? Shout out to y'all, man. Y'all y'all got me building this thing up. All right, now, the reason I wanted to speak to you guys today is because, I mean, a lot of you, you know, you keep hitting me up, you know, you want to know who uh, my manufacturers are and whatnot. And um, I thought I already gave you guys the information. I made a video pertaining to, you know, where you can go find yourself some manufacturers, but in this video, you know, I'm going to get a little bit more in-depth in it because I see this, the same question keeps coming back up, and um, I'm going to try to break it down as, easy, as easily and give you as much information as I can to make it less stressful, all right, because I see a lot of you, a lot, see what a lot of you guys want to do is you want to skip college and go straight to the league. But let me tell you something, man. Everybody ain't LeBron. Alright? This thing is not as easy as I or others might make it seem sometimes. Alright? So let me break this down a little bit. Alright, now one is I don't use the same manufacturer all the time. I've used multiple manufacturers and I keep saying this. And the reason is because, you know, certain companies provide certain things and some companies have obviously better price points than others. And also, there's companies that require higher minimums than others. And when I say higher minimums, that means they, re they require you to purchase a higher amount of product than other companies so like let's say you let's say you want to get like a t-shirt made or a sweatshirt or whatever one company might say okay if we do this for you you got to buy at least a thousand at this price and then another company might say well we don't have any minimum you can just buy one or how, how however many you want or or another company might say okay uh, we do have a minimum, but it's low. It might be like 20 or 50. So that's why you can't you can't put all your eggs in one basket. You got to pretty much uh, search around and see what works for you. Okay. Now I'm about, I'm, I'm I'm about to go in on this. So before I even go in, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Let me know that you like this this video, and make sure you hit that bell. So we get notified every time I'm dropping some new content, alright? And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Come on! Okay, now. Alright, I'm gonna just I'm gonna go through some of the companies that I use, alright? I better pay attention to. Go get yourself a pen, uh, a pencil, uh, a magic marker, a sharpie, a crayon, okay? Whatever you wanna lose. Uh, use and write this information down all right in no particular order these are the companies that these are the manufacturers that I use um, 
Now, I know I haven't showed you, I haven't shown you guys in a while any of my uh, my cut and sew uh, garments or materials because I haven't really been doing like a lot of cut and sew right now because I kind of feel I, I feel like I'm more in tune with making like the majority of my pieces myself right now as far as you know my t-shirts my hats uh, my hoodies whatnot because sometimes when you're dealing with cut and sew like there's like time like there's so much time in between before you get your sample or you get you know all of your product and I don't I'm 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 just an impatient guy I'm just gonna be honest with you I put so much time and effort into designing my stuff that I want instant gratification like I want to see it like immediately and sometimes you know waiting is like uh, who wants to wait for anything all right but anyways so check this out in no particular order the first company is called Ung Crown Caps all right that's capital A U N G Crown C O excuse me C R O W N Caps all right so if you're looking for uh, any custom uh, hats or what have you you should check them out all right all right moving on uh, right along there's another manufacturer and the majority of these uh, manufacturers are coming out of uh, China or Pakistan rather and I got a funny story to tell y'all too all right so the second company is called Chi Chang Garments all right so that's capital C H U I C H A N G garments G A R M E N T S. Okay, so if you want to get something, uh, whatever made via this particular company, check them out, see what their minimums are, see what their prices look like, and um, communicate with them and rock out with them. All right. Now, uh, the, no, the, the next company is called uh, Dong Wan Sunfire. Okay, that's D O N G G U A N Sunfire. Uh, capital S U N F I R E. Okay, same thing. Check the prices out, check out the minimums, and see if they could um, offer you. All right, next, Mimi Fashion. Okay, so that's capital M E I, capital M E I, fashion, capital F A S H I O N. Okay, and once again, all these companies uh, I've worked with in the past, all right, and I will continue to work with you know when the time comes. All right, next, well stuff, cap, capital W E L L S T U F F. And I believe Well Stuff, you know what guys? Well Stuff is the first company that I, I ever actually used as I was getting into this game. Don't get me wrong, I was nervous, I was scared, you know, sending them money and whatnot, but uh, they sent back, I sent them what I wanted. At the time, I didn't really know a lot about what I was doing as far as like the material that I wanted, you know, be it like cotton or whatever, or and um, like measurements and stuff like that. But you know, uh, they pretty much made what I was looking for. Uh, to the T, there was there was little flaws that I didn't like. Like I didn't really like. I didn't like my garment tag that they put inside the um, the hoodies. I didn't really care for those. But other than that, it was all right. So yeah, shout out the well stuff. Um, now more current. These companies, these last two companies are based out of the United States. Big printing. So like, if you're doing any cut and sew. You want custom hoodies, mini patches, Chanel patches, or whatever. Go with Big Printing. Uh, Big Printing has phenomenal uh, craftsmanship. 
everything is beautiful over at Big Printing, alright? And you can find Big Printing on Instagram as well. Follow them on Instagram. Alright, um, last is uh, Clothing Line Kickoff. Another amazing company. Uh, do uh, a lot of cut and sew, you know, for people. Like, you can, you can send... You can send in clothing line kickoff a hand sketch of something that you made and they'll turn that bad boy into something like spectacular. You won't even you won't even freaking believe it. Alright? Now I gave you guys uh, all the companies that I've dealt with, so hopefully you guys can do your own research, contact them and see what they have to offer, see what their minimums are, see what their prices are. And uh, hopefully you get out of it, you know, what you're asking me for. Uh, now, you guys got to understand this, too. Like, I am who I am. And the experience, the experiences that I have with these companies, you might not have the same experiences with them. Because, for one, I don't know what you guys are looking for. And for two... Uh, I only design for me. I'm passionate about my stuff, so I know how I want it to look. I know how I want it to feel. I know how I want it to fit. So, you know, that, and that just comes from me, you know, doing this for so long. You know, I just know what I'm looking for at this point. Uh, somebody starting off, you know, you might not really know what you're looking for in the beginning. So it's a lot of trial and error. You're going to burn through some money, guys. Don't. If you don't, if you're not ready to burn through some money, this ain't for you. Okay, this is not for you. Just go, just go on and do something else. All right, you gotta take chances. If you want to take this thing serious, you have to take chances. I took my chances, and that's why I'm at, where I'm at as we speak. Okay, now, don't get discouraged by this either. Now. Sometimes when you're dealing with like these foreign manufacturers like in China and stuff like that, right? They have like this, uh, they, they go on like what's considered a Chinese holiday. So they'll be off like, they'll be on like a break for like the majority of December, you know, all the way leading up into January for, you know, some, for a, a large period of time. But they'll contact you or they'll put on their website, you know, when they're gonna when they're leaving and when they're gonna come back. Now here's the thing. You might make connections with people at these companies, but when they come back from break, those same people might not be there anymore. And you might already have, you know, things in production with them or money spent with them. And you might start to question like, yo, like where's my stuff at? Nobody's responding. Here's the thing. Like the turnover the turnover rate for these companies is crazy so like let's say uh, you've been I don't know talking to John Doe or Jane Doe communicating back and forth over something that you're trying to get made for like a month or two and then um, you know after the break you emailing this person and they're like okay well uh, I no longer work for that company anymore contact so-and-so and they're pretty much saying that because they've moved on like it, it's like it's like how can I explain it it's like you working for a company or a job that you no longer like and it's like all right well I'm gonna use up all my vacation time and then I'm out I'm moving on what they what they do is you know it's kind of like it's kind of like temp jobs for them that they'll come and work for a specific company and um, if they feel like they're not making enough or whatever, or if they feel like this company is too far from where they live, they'll just either go back home or they'll just, or they'll just move on to a totally different company. And I had to learn that, you know, and I had to accept that. So don't get discouraged if uh, you're no longer dealing with the same contact. Um, you know, if they're professional, uh, like management or what have you will let you know okay so and so moved on but now you're going to be dealing with this person as your as your direct contact communicating back and forth 
via email and they'll let you they'll keep you up to date on the status of your product or what you order or whatnot. Okay? So um yeah, this funny story I wanted to tell you guys over the weekend, you know, um I was at home, you know, celebrating my birthday. It was my birthday this past weekend. So you know I got some of my friends and you know we're all hanging out and I get this phone call. And um it was a number I never seen before, and like a lot of people was calling me that day, you know, wishing me happy birthday. So I answered it, you know, thinking it was going to be a happy, a happy birthday shout out. But um, you know, I had my music playing; it was kind of loud. And then, and long story short, it was a, uh, it was a manufacturer reaching out to me that I've never d had business had business with before, reaching out to me, uh, asking me. You know, to, to do business with them, like they pretty much selling themselves to me, and I'm like, listen, I don't have time to talk right now. You know, call me back or just send me a DM to my Instagram, because that's how they found me, anyways, and then we can talk there. But I say that to say this: I said this before. When you're getting into this, right, and you're looking for manufacturers, it's going to come to a point where you no longer have to look for them. They will look for you. They will find you. They will see the pictures that you're posting online. They will see the hashtags that you're using. And they will find you. They will message you. And you can make connections that way. My DMs right now look crazy. And I don't I don't even have a lot of followers like that. But these manufacturers are in my DMs. They're showing me what they have available. They're showing me what they um, can make. They're letting me know the prices. They're letting me know the minimum and stuff like that because they want to do business because they see on my page that I that I'm selling hoodies or I'm selling hats or I'm doing cut and sew. So they're just making themselves readily available for me and they want to communicate. And sometimes they come off kind of like pushy because you know they want money. So they're calling from China. They're calling from Pakistan. They're trying to make these connections, man. So. Uh, once you guys find your manufacturers and you start, you know, doing what you do with them, you know, post the pictures of their work, of their work, tag them in it, you know, use the hashtags and stuff like that, and people will come. More manufacturing companies will come if you don't feel comfortable with going online and um, dealing with these these uh, these foreign uh, websites and stuff like that. You feel like. You know you're gonna be taken advantage of, or, 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 or getting robbed, or the, or the website don't feel doesn't doesn't feel as secure as you think it should be, or you don't really feel like putting your bank account information out there and your credit card information out there and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's just either try to deal with Americanized manufacturers or just. Man, you gotta go out on the limb sometime, man. You, you you gotta take chances, man. For real. Have I gotten burned since I started doing this? Honestly? No, haven't gotten burned yet. I've gotten lied to where, you know, a manufacturing company will tell me, like, listen, okay, you're probably gonna be done by this time. And it's not done, and that upsets me because now I got customers waiting. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing pre-orders and stuff like that. I'm telling my customers that already paid me, like, listen, you're going to have your product on this date. And then it's like, damn, it's like a month or two down the line. They still don't got their product. So that's like a hassle. But that's the business, man. That's the game. Okay? So, like I said earlier, I was just making this video because, you know, some of you guys are still asking me who my manufacturers and stuff like that. Hopefully I gave you guys enough information, man. Alright, because other than that, there's not much more I can say. Like, I literally just gave you, like, everything. Okay? Um, I wish everybody the best. You know, I mean, it's... It's, uh... There's nothing wrong with being nervous. There's nothing wrong with being scared. You know, because you're dealing with money. Y'all money. I know what I could afford only. I don't know what you guys can afford. Okay? So I get it. Alright? So, um... Yeah, just make sure you guys keep checking me out, man. Once again, subscribe to the channel. And all you guys, too, that didn't listen earlier when I said write down the name of these manufacturers, don't worry about it. I got you. I'm going to leave them in the description below.
okay? So once again, like I always say, choose your own path. Skip it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically, pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.